Well, we are uh, almost ready to start uh, our first exercise, uh, but before I prefer to introduce you to the final uh, exercise, uh, final uh, project. Uh, okay, here we can see the, the structure, but I prefer to show you from live. Here is. Uh, so we have a colored background with the, the image of, of a chiller in the background. And then we can show the main uh, values and parameter uh, through different widgets. So temperatures, point differential, through simple widgets like uh, simple text, and then uh, gauges, uh, thermometer like this. They also have thresholds, so the needles change the color according to the temperature. Uh, we have a widget like this uh, to change the set point. We have uh, uh, this is one of the current uh, widgets. We have a slider to change the differential, uh, switch, uh, switch, on, switch off the unit uh, LED. This is a, a custom widget, so we will create this uh, from scratch. We will show um, a rotating fan. This is just a, a, an image and uh, we will show and hide according to the status of the compressor or the unit status. Uh, something similar for the, the compressor. Um, so we will show and hide according to the status of the compressor. We can enable and disable uh, the compressors. We show the selection of the language. So we will translate in, uh, also in Italian. Okay, widget with time and date, and here are uh, three links to three secondary pages showing the web PGD. And then uh, the alarms and the trends. Okay, so this is uh, the final target. Go back to our exercise. Uh, once again, before to start, we have to okay, set up the system. First of all, we need uh, C-Web installed. I have it, of course. Uh, I need C-Suite, uh, uh, recent C-Suite, uh, 3.0.41 or newer, a recent with C-Web license installed. I have it. A C-Pico with a recent uh, operating system, okay. Then I have to download uh, support files for the training uh, or, the, or for the tutorials. Uh, support files are uh, images, uh, there is also the date, uh, widgets uh, and uh, uh, some other files. Uh, we can download uh, them from uh, KSA. Okay, so this is uh, KSA C web area. Support files are in the training tab. Cpico, and here are Cweb, Cpico training support files. Okay, the downloads, I have to download in a, somewhere in the PC. So I will create in the PC a folder called C web C and copy those files there. After that, I have to install the application and the controller. Uh, I will use, uh, as told earlier, the Chiller Alarms project that I uh, or that we develop during the suite training. It is here in the exercise. There is a chill alarms for C web and so on. Okay, I copy it in C. There is the chill alarms and open it. Here is uh, the chiller alarms. So just to be sure, I build this. I build also CMask. Ok, 
okay, upload uh, the configuration. Then I have to connect uh, uh, CPICO and um, PC together, okay, they are already to get, uh, connected, in fact I have just downloaded uh, via Ethernet. So here is our uh, first exercise, just create a new project, a new C-Web project, just this. I will split this in three parts. The very first is export the variables from C-Suite, so later we can import in C-Web. Actually, this step is not mandatory, strictly mandatory. In fact, the important is that in C-Web we use as variable name uh, variables that uh, in uh, C-Design Terra Web Editor, editor are selected read or read write uh, in this column. So the export into a file is just a way that let us to set the name of a variable from a list rather than type it manually. C design, this is the right configuration, chiller for compressors, and the interweb. Uh, we can take the opportunity to check if all the variables are selected. We can start from uh, the temperature. So the inlet temperature is read only, that's good, proportional band read right, set point read right, unit BMS unit on off read right, that's good, unit on is read, that's good, and then the compressors variable, so the four enable variables read right and the uh, compressor status read only. Very good. We can also verify that uh, the enable C-Web is checked. So this is the evidence that uh, I have the C-Web license installed and I have also installed uh, in the controller this configuration. So the controller uh, will be able to show the C-Web pages uh, created with the C-Web. So here are the variables. Now I can export C-Web. I can save in a folder, uh, let's call a folder Chiller Web. So I will save this file and also the C Web project. Export successfully exported. Okay, and now we can close this. Exported, I have already uploaded. Step 2, we have uh, to create uh, the project. So we have uh, to start uh, the project console. You can uh, double click uh, the advice monitor if you have it. I remember that uh, if you don't, don't have it, you can start from, from the start menu. So double click. Double click, project console. If a uh, server is already running, like uh, in my case, you have to stop at server. Uh, the system may ask you to run um, C, uh, sorry, the project console as administrator, like in my case. So close, right click, run as administrator. Okay, now I can stop. Now we can create a new project. Uh, we have to select a folder where to save it. I have just created a C web, so we save here. The default name of the project is the same name of the folder, but you can change. I, 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 I like it. Okay. Ah, it says that uh, already exists because uh, I have already, in fact, uh, in my project, uh, here is an is uh, older one, so let me delete this. 
in so add folder c c, c web name that's good directory is not empty uh, in fact i have just uh, exported the, the c web variables so continue uh, yes uh, problem now i can start the server once the server is started, here is, I can open the builder, that is the editor, and so that it has access to the project file. If you remember, the name of the file is notes.db. Uh, it is in the project folder. Oh, we can have a look. So in the C chiller web here is node db so all pages all widgets that uh, we are going uh, to create uh, will be saved into this folder you can see that is a quite big uh, 16 megabyte why because it contains uh, the all libraries uh, later we talk about all libraries so it, it has created a local say a local copy of the libraries Well, uh, this is a new project, uh, so it uh, automatically uh, it automatically started, uh, I say, the wizard uh, for the uh, configuration of a new server. It asks for a name, so this is the name that will appear uh, in the solution um, explorer later. Okay, I will use always the same name, Chile C Web. Host name. This is the IP of the controller. I set the IP of the controller to this 10.10.1.2 and the type of the target. Two uh, options. The first is Karel. Karel is uh, suitable for all Karel targets. That is uh, the supervisory system products, Terra, Boss, uh, Pentevasor Pro, Remote Pro, uh, as well as Pico, CPico controller. Other option is demo web server. If you remember earlier in the first tutorial, I told you that it is a server that runs in the PC that exposes some variables with a generic name, variable boolean, variable number, or something like this. So we could use this just to make some test, some experience with, with the editor. Now I will use a CPICO. Ah, sorry, for more details regarding Devo Web Server, you can uh, uh, see, you can read the uh, help of, uh, of the editor. So since we have a real uh, controller did uh, running application, I will use Carrot. Don't click this because as it will appear other names of other controllers supporting the our our technological partner. Uh, system uh, but we are not interested in them so don't, don't click this Karel next step we have to select to type the URL of the controller so HTTP columns slash again the IP config source is the files containing the variables so it is the files that we have exported before so it is in the C web folder here is the file config target and data root target for cpico is where to deploy where to save where to upload the http file the system uses uh, it uses the ftp protocol so ftp colons slash username and password the defaults are anonymous and also for the password at the ip slash and the folder uh, the folder so if you remember is a fixed http so please uh, double check uh, this uh, string uh, because uh, if uh, it is very easy to make mistakes uh, 
uh, colons instead of semicolon instead of colons, uh, uh, slash in the wrong direction, uh, and other things. So please double check. Else you will be not able to uh, upload the pages into the controller. So copy, paste. Another possibility is to copy from the slides. You can copy from here, you can copy from here, paste here and changing uh, the, just uh, the IP. Next, distribution. Compress files. So the files will be compressed in the controller, so they will take less space in the memory. We have a 90 megabyte of space uh, that you can increase uh, using a micro SD card for some controllers. Anyway, if you compress, uh, they will take less space. Write only changed the file. Okay, so uh, it uh, write uh, okay only the files that are changed, so you can uh, upload faster. Clean data root option. This is very important. If you leave selected, every time you upload new pages, it will clear the uh, the, the final the folder HTTP, clear everything, and then upload new file, the new version of the web pages. So if uh, after that, uh, you upload uh, via FTP, via uh, USB disk or whatever else, uh, you upload uh, additional files. Uh, next time uh, you upload the uh, upload uh, CWeb, uh, it will be clear everything. So to prevent uh, the erase, uh, the erasing of uh, the files, uh, you can use this. So here you can uh, uh, select additional files uh, to upload uh, together with the web pages. So you can. So indicate here the, all the additional files, for example, uh, uh, the web kit, if you need it, uh, the foreign object uh, that we will see later, the um, PDF or the manual of the C web of PIC application, uh, the commissioning uh, report, or whatever else, any file. In this project, we don't uh, use this, so we can uh, avoid this. Last step, layout. There are several layout. Most of these are optimized for plant for supervisory system product. So there are empty pages, pages with the, with the here is the side menu, side to bar. But we want we will not use this. We will use an empty layout like this. So what is important here? The important is not the absolute width and height. The important is the ratio of them. In fact, we will see also later that, uh, ah, we will see actually now, we can see here that uh, if you zoom, you see here how is it zoomed, the size of the page doesn't change. It is fit to the available space in the page. It is even uh, easier to see in this case. So you see that uh, the ratio between uh, width and height is, uh, is the same. So in this case uh, we can uh, use uh, this. Uh, is the full uh, HD, probably is uh, also in your case, is the um, size of the uh, screen of your PC. Now I am recording in a, a small, with a different uh, uh, resolution, but uh, the ratio uh, should be the same. Okay, we can. Okay, you can also set. You can also set uh, okay, different uh, uh, values. Okay. So here is. A, let's call it Solution Explorer. Here it has a different name, but uh, is that. I prefer to talk about uh, these items a little bit later because now are missing uh, some parts. Uh, so let's forget for a while this. Uh, later we will uh, have a look. I can just tell you how to re-enter in the configuration of the server. Just open the first uh, uh, item and uh, double click. Here it is. So we can change the settings. 
Well, we have finished uh, the first uh, exercise. We have seen uh, uh, what is the um, what will be the complete uh, project. Uh, what are the requirements? Uh, the three steps uh, for the first exercise. Uh, so step one, uh, we have uh, to um, select the variables uh, that we want to use in the web server in the C web pages uh, and uh, export the variables into a file. Upload, of course, this configuration into the controller. Then we have to create a new C-Web project. So starting from the advisor monitor, double click, open the project console, stop server, is if running, add a project, type a folder where to save the file and a name. After that, start the server and we can start also the builder. Now we have a new project, uh, the system automatically starts uh, the configuration of the web server with uh, the five steps that we just saw. So that's all for the first exercise.